Why would someone move all this kitchen equipment? Oh, oh God. Are you okay? Yeah, it's not deep, but there's something down here. There's a lot of metal. Hey, come and see this. What? Is it bad? It looks like a long, dark hallway. Do the owners know anything about the existence of this? No, this is new to us. I've never seen or heard of this. Same here. Let's get down there. I want to see what's going on. Well, there's a ladder, so come on down. When did this ever exist? Son, I don't know. Paul nor Keith ever mentioned this to me during any of the events here. So this must be new. Let's keep going. If we keep going, maybe there's something that will explain what this is. Huh, I wonder what's in there. I don't know, but hopefully, we can quickly get in and out. This place is giving me the creeps. Agreed. Okay, now this is creepy. Okay, so, what the hell is this? It looks like an office space. It has a fireplace and everything. What's the deal with this room? Given it's underground, it would get cold down here. The fireplace could have provided heat. But why did it get built? And why is it here? I don't know, but maybe if we split up, there's something in here we can find. Hey, there's a camcorder here. What did you find, Joas? This. Maybe it will show us something about this place. Hello, if you're watching this video, you have found your way into the room I am in. The name's and this is where I'll explain what this underground location is. The facility was built under the abandoned Burgerio as a means to hide its existence from any praying eyes. This facility comes with living quarters, entertainment rooms, and most importantly labs and testing areas. The place also comes with a power supply that'll run indefinitely. The testing areas are where most of my research is conducted and where I conduct most of my work. My work mostly has to deal with animatronics. Wait the military stole or animatronics? I'll explain my research later in another tape. I'm working on another project currently and it'll be ready to see soon. What was that about? Well, that tape just opened up a new line of questioning. Why in the world was our animatronics used in a secret underground laboratory? Seems like the easiest way to figure this out is the explore this place. Seems like this place has been deserted for a while. It has. Let's just make sure we're not disturbed. Huh, this door leads to a staircase. This place has four other floor. Good God, how did they get away with this? Should we go down there? We haven't finished exploring this floor first? All be found at this point is living quarters. I doubt we find much of interest. But those labs might help us. All right then. All right, let's go. Well, it'll be damned these look like lab doors all right. Yeah, this is just getting weirder and weirder. What could they be doing down here? Huh? These don't look like normal labs at all. No shit, and it looks like something went wrong. Yeah, it looked like a fight or something happened. Maybe there's something here that'll explain this. Hey, what's this on the poster? Hey, that's one of our animatronics, so that guy in that first tape wasn't lying. The military is actually stealing our animatronics. Guys, there's another camcorder. Oh boy, this better explain what everything. So, what's the status on this one? What do you think the risks are? Well, Chris the Coyote hasn't been unstable unlike Billy the Badger. And is this before or after putting them through the testing phase? because I'd like to avoid a repeat of what happened in 2046. Well, Chris has gone through multiple testing phases with little issue, unlike oh. Billy who killed two workers. You've got to be shitting me. They took our animatronics, meant to entertain people and turned them into killing machines. When I find whoever did this, I'm throwing them through this window. And you're lucky it's only three workers killed. You have no clue how bad it can be. We could have had another situation in 44. Of course. That's why we put in these safe rooms so they can't get us if they go haywire. Alright, and are you sure this is going to be the same for all the new labs you've built? Of course, we'll probably never need to use these rooms since it seems to only be Billy anyway, the others seem to be stable enough to work, but, why are you asking, are you getting cold feet about using the animatronics in your next project? Of course not, I just don't want to end up with more messes like 44 and 46. Don't worry, 
it should be fine, they are safe to use now. Alright, let's just get the last two ready, I have plans for them. Also, what happened with the rabbit and fox that were on the other side of the facility, did we lose them? Unfortunately, it looks like we did. I looked through the cameras and when the rabbit and red fox were supposed to arrive, either there's a delay or they got taken. I'll ask security to check storage again later. Okay, what the hell are we supposed to make of this? It looks like this underground facility was a military base built to test out weapons using the Billy's Bergeria animatronics, but also to try to find ways to weaponize them. It would seem so, but this is beyond what we expected. That probably explains why they even took our terrible backup ones as well. Every single one could be considered a success for them. Okay, well, if that's the case, then, it might be safe to say we might run into them in other rooms. Probably, the only question now, is whether or not it'll be a good thing to encounter them or not. Based on that video, Billy the Badger is the only dangerous so far, but we need to be on our guard. I wouldn't trust any of these animatronics. Wait a minute, do any of you guys have flashlights? I think I saw something. Oh shit. Why is it standing there? Shouldn't it be trying to attack us? I don't know, but if it doesn't attack us then maybe we're okay. What are you doing? Are you a moron? Do you have any idea how dangerous it could be? She's probably trying to find out what the hell is wrong with it. Should they be doing that? If it's soft locked and won't move, we should just get the hell out of here. He's right, this thing might legit be broken. Did you do that? And no, why would tapping knock it over like that? Whatever, if it's truly broken, we should be fine. Well, that was something. Yeah, but hopefully that's the only threat we had to deal with. Well, I guess we move on the next room and, uh, guys. Ah, uh, fuck. Ah. Damn, he got me in the leg. How bad is it? It doesn't look too bad. It only great. We can take care of it when we get up top. Ah, uh, fuck. He hit my left arm. Go, go, I think it's blind. Go, go, up the ladder. We're done in here. What the fuck did we just run into? Well, it seems we've got more problems than we thought we'd have when we first got down here. That thing should have been dangerous. We've got a lot of work cut out for us. Wait, do you think we need to go back down there? Well, yes, if the other animatronics are anything like Billy, then they are a danger to society and we need to make sure they are disposed of properly so no one else can get their hands on them. I hate that it came to this, but I think that's the only choice. I agree, but first, we might need some bigger guns. <laughs> 